friends, brothers, and sisters in the struggle for human dignity and freedom. I am here to represent the struggle that has gone on for 300 or more years, a struggle to be recognized as citizens in a country in which we were born. Ella Baker was a radical, unsung hero of the civil rights movement who believed that to spark social change, ordinary people must lead the way. Much like our namesake, the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights believes in the power of people to dream big and bring about safe and healthy communities, strong families, and fairness for all. I first heard about the Ella Baker Center when I was incarcerated. It gave me so much hope to know that there was an organization out there that really listened to the people that were most affected by the prison system instead of just the so-called experts. I saw so many problems when I was on the inside. And now I'm one of the Ella Baker Center's local organizers helping to fix all of the injustices that I experienced firsthand. Since the organization was founded in 1996, we have joined forces with low-income communities of color to tackle big problems and win the tough fights that no one else would take on. People in power didn't believe we could win the battles we were fighting. We held rallies, organized protests, staged sit-ins at Board of Supervisor meetings, and we won. This organization has been a part of closing five youth prisons, stopping the super jail, helping to reform the San Francisco Police Department, the Oakland Police Department, and we're just getting started. The Ella Baker Center built the state's first ever support network of more than 1,000 families with incarcerated youth to organize against California's notorious youth prisons. I have a grandson who was locked up in the California Youth Authority prisons. Being separated from him was a nightmare for me and my family. I was looking for some help, and that's when I found the Ella Baker Center. The authorities never thought that we'd shut down one youth prison, and we've shut down five. Now we're ready to end mass incarceration. This is one of the most important fights since the Civil Rights Movement, and the Ella Baker Center is building a national membership-based movement to ensure that we seize the moment and win. If someone was trying to design a system where across generations, neighborhoods remain unsafe and families stay poor, mass incarceration would be it. The time is truly now. We didn't need a new and improved, better system of slavery. We don't need a better system of mass incarceration. Yeah. We need to think about building the kind of movement that will abolish this system. Since publishing the new Jim Crow, I have been traveling all over the country to cities large and small, meeting with people of all colors, faiths, and walks of life who don't want to just sign a petition or write their legislator. They want to join the movement and they want to join a national grassroots human rights organization, some kind of group that is committed to ending mass incarceration in America. The Ella Baker Center is that organization. We are organizing a national movement for justice reinvestment. That means less money spent on prisons and punishment and more money spent on schools, jobs, and healthcare. I am a full supporter of the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights in our next 20 years, taking some of the things that worked here in California and uh, moving them out, uh, uniting with other people across the country so that we can close prisons, not just in California, but all across the United States. By advocating for books, not bars, jobs, not jails, and health care, not handcuffs, we will ensure that low-income communities of color flourish and prosper. We are launching half the Sentence Twice the Success campaigns, which would reinvest savings from sentencing and jail reforms into education and job training. It's extraordinary track record and history. It's long-standing commitment to a multi-racial, multi-ethnic movement. And it's original, radical beginnings all make it perfectly suited to become the kind of membership-driven national grassroots organization that Ella Baker herself would have been proud to join. You and I cannot be free 
until we can get people to recognize that they themselves have to make the struggle and have to make the fight for freedom every day in the year, every year, until they win it.